There. That's our ticket out. Okay. Hey, hey. Hmm? No. I'll go ahead. Stay back. Don't worry, Mr. Cobblepot. I'll get through I here wasn't and. I'm sure if I could get him across. But he needed to believe I could. Which means I need to get across. Uh, this way? Jumping. Go left. 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 Forward. Forward. This is the long job for an old man. Go right. Right. Go right. Right. Go forward. Forward. I'm doing what a chucka did. Ah. <gasps> okay. How do I want to do this? Let's go left. Left, forward, okay, uh, go left, left, go left, left, go forward, forward, right, right, go right, go right, old man, go right again. Right. Faster, faster. And forward. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is getting a little interesting. Uh, let's go this way. This way. This way. Oh, God. It's all crumbling around me. For oh, okay, gotta go this way. This way. Alrighty. Now I just need to get him. Oh, God. Um, go right. Right. Go left. 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 Right. Right. It's all crumbling. Right. right. Hurry, old man. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Forward. Forward. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was a little... Dragon. Dragon. Quick! In my cape! <laughs> no time to explain! Magic cape? Does he really have a magic cape? And do I really have Mr. Cobblepot in there? How do you do that with the cape? Super magical cape powers, activate! And all the bugs are running away. And Mr. Cobblepot seemed very pleased to be in a cape. What? <laughs> it's like a baby dragon! Nightmares come in many uh. Once you realize what you are actually afraid of, mm -hmm. you can start to deal with the fear. Aww. <laughs> Okay, Gwendolyn, what's in your room? It's just in my head. She must be afraid of the goblins. It's not gonna work. I'm not afraid of you. More rats! Holy more rats! I figured after that scream you'd be back. Let's pick up our story once again. Okay. I wasn't actually afraid of dragons. I was still struggling with the loss of a chaka. Now, a loss. my decisions meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to wrestle with. Oh. And he's not exactly smart, is he? 
Okay. What's here? Okay, can I do anything with this? And he has my hat. <gasps> he dropped my hat. Hi. Thumbs up. He smiles. Huh? Huh? Hey, I got a buddy. <laughs> Wait. And yep, Chester's in my cape. Okay. We'll roll with it. Wear his crown to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine, and Daventry was ready Swap for it out. a new adventure. Aha. Yep, old hat time. No, 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 old hat. Oh, okay. I'll just run with it. Okay. A grand prize. Alrighty, plays a flute. Once in a town <coughs> just like the one you're imagining, there was a That's beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. Manny. Manny is a goblin, I knew it. We're welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. Mm -hmm. The townspeople cried out to their king, we must be rid of these rats. They're scaring our children and stealing our cheese. One even ate a baby. That's a big rat. The town had become very unpleasant indeed. Ew. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well, carrying wishes for a better town. But the rats mm -hmm. remain. Wishing won't do anything. The king, in his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes for he desperately needed a plan. As that wishes Kingetto? would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. Okay. The piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town would overthrow their moronic liege. Here, here, they cried out. Our throne is but a seat for a hat rat. Rid us of these pests. And the throne is where you'll rest. Okay. The stranger pulled out a small flute and played a pleasing melody. The music summoned the rats out of hiding, and they danced on the head of the king. Okay. The king so they must think the me the moronic king. Squeal. But the piper continued his song. The rats were led back to the wooded forest where they belong. The piper returned to the castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout what? the halls, and no one let him in. What? He raised his pipe, and a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom Pranced to his side. Okay. With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle <coughs> to the deep, dark caverns below. The throne is now empty, and the well doesn't clang anymore. That's a depressing Manny story. Manny knew exactly what to write to incite the horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. So oh, I need to make a new story. It was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits, but the mind and the games were just beginning. Okay. 